Introverts, how did you meet your girlfriend? Not a girlfriend, but a boyfriend internet. Back in 2003 90% of people on online dating sites were nerds. I didn't actually have to go outside to meet guys I had stuff in common with. Found a nerd and married him. I thought she was cute in my design drawing class and offered her some of my subway coupons. Then I was too scared to talk to her for like 4 months until my friend texted her and told her I had something to tell her. I'm pretty happy she did that too. This girl asked me to winter formal then bailed a couple days before. Her friend liked me and added me on Facebook then asked if I wanted to hang out. 5 years later we're still together and I couldn't be happier. Dorm roommate's best friend who was going to the same school as he and I over the summer before my freshman year he and I talked some and he said I have a friend who likes a lot of the same stuff you do I think you'll like her. And now her and I are going on 3 years of dating. If you can't find a girlfriend or boyfriend just ask a gay for help. They're the best matchmakers. She was my sister's best friend, I was in a crappy dead-end relationship. I was ready to dump my girlfriend within a day or two and she knew, we ended up spending New Year's hanging out, with my sister, because of cancelled plans and other things. We ended up spending the next three straight days around each other and I asked her out shortly after. Together almost 12 years now, married three with two kids. She was my fav barista, I asked if she wanted to hang out sometime, and that's that. Deleted. I've known this girl for a decade now, which I have had a crush on for the longest time. Just recently, in a drunken state, she confessed she's been in love with me for years and yet every time the topic has come up about relationships I've matrix dodge my way out. But not anymore, as of tomorrow I'm going to, try, and ask her out. I've never been so scared in all my life, pray for me. Update 1, I decided to send her a link to the thread for a topic starter then, like an awkward cliche, continued to ask her out over messenger. Her reply was for me to wait until she has properly woken up and had cuddles her cat. Now we play the try not to have a panic attack while waiting game. Update you guys again in a few hours. Update 2, it's a complete role reversal. She's now worried about what if it doesn't work out. She wants to talk in person now, hopefully we can hash it out today. Final? Update, we're all going to be left in suspense. Due to shitty luck our talk won't be happening until the weekend. I might make a post about this on reddit somewhere after it's ended with the final verdict, but until then, we wait. Limbo, we finally managed to get a day off work and meet up. The talk mostly consisted of us going round in circles, so to cut a long story short, she didn't want to say yes because of the fact that ultimately nothing will change between us. She's scared that if the relationship doesn't work out it will end up ruining our friendship and I'll just be like another one of her exes. However, she didn't want to say no either, so I still might have a chance. Sorry for the long wait you guys, but I really didn't wanna post something as blue balling as this. If something ever does happen I'll make a post on slash r slash introvert and link back to this thread. Thank you for all the epic amounts of support and the gold too. I've never felt so determined because of you guys. I sold her and her then BF weed when they first moved to the city I lived in. Met them online on a bike forum. We went on some group rides, hung out throughout the years. Fast forward 8 years, and we just got married last Wednesday. We work because we spend all our time building our home. We go out never. The last 3 have been online, a fix up, and a girl who had a mutual friend out at an event. I guess if I were to give advice on meeting girls, it's to put yourself in places where there are girls and where you're comfortable, and then be yourself. If a girl likes who you are naturally, that's fantastic. If you're putting up a front like wearing a suit when you normally wouldn't, the girl might go for that image, but not for who you really are. Met him through a video game slash mutual friends. And I straight up asked our mutual friend if my so is single slash hot slash if I could talk to him and he was. Together for 3 years now. He probably would have never talked to me again if it weren't for me going for it. 
went to her apartment for a party because a good friend of mine was desperately trying to score with her. Drank far too much, as was tradition. I didn't even want to go, I was not the wingman type. Not exactly sure how, but my friend completely struck out despite his best efforts, and somehow she and I ended up in a bathroom together, somewhat furiously going at it at about 2 am. We woke up together in my bed the next morning. I knew I was in trouble when I woke up with her head on my shoulder, and it just felt like the most normal, right thing in the world. I visited her at the cafe she worked at on my way into work that morning, and we had a painfully awkward conversation. She moved in with me a couple of months later, and we've been together ever since, that was 20 years ago, and we've been married for about half of that. We've moved across the US a couple of times together, almost got divorced, got our shit together, made a lot of money slash blew a lot of money, switched careers a couple of times, but we've always taken care of each other. I'm glad she made that first move, because I never would have, and my life would have turned out completely different. What girlfriend? I had a girl in my grade I was sorta of friends with, I had her on Facebook. I found out that she had a sister, I liked her and started talking to her on Facebook. We were flirting back and forth and I got her number. She's an extrovert and really wanted me to talk, which to her I talk a lot now. Back three years ago I was super shy slash introverted towards her and would tell her hi once in a while in the school hallways. Started hanging out at the library and she asked me out after a few months. If things go smoothly this week, a friend of mine who thought his co-worker could use a boyfriend, so basically what he said to her was. Hey, I'm going to hook you up with the least awkward of my friends. Off to a great start. Met her at a physics lab, got together at a bus terminal. Yuck yuck. I volunteer summers in a medieval fair as an actor since it gets me out of the house and gives me improv experience. A few weekends in I'm telling this girl and her friend that there's a choir performance in about an hour and that they should go. Along the way they end up getting lost and don't show up. No big deal. Later I end up seeing them again and joke about them not showing up, being all light-hearted about it. I mention there's a live combat chess match in a few hours and they should go to that since they missed my first invitation. Fast forward a few hours and it's pouring down rain. All of us actors are hiding under part of the chess board trying to stay a little bit dry. The chess match is cancelled because of the lightning and the sheer amount of water falling from the sky. I look over to one of the entrances to the area of the chess board and see two girls walking by. I instantly feel horrible because I told them to come by at this time and they came in the pouring rain. By that time most of cast decides a fuck it and all go out in the rain, dancing around to the latest take on me by our harmim, you know the one where it's the Dark Souls animation and the one where some guys did it at a comic con, and I go over to talk with one of the girls I made come to chess. We start talking and both have interests in common, laughing and joking at each other. Towards the end of the day I hear one of my friends from school who comes to the fair yell my name. She informs me I was flirting with one of her friends and I realize what a small world it is. Her and I talked from then on and she came back for the last couple weekends and now I am happy to say we have been in a relationship for almost 10 months and I got her to join cast for this coming season. On Reddit. Going through the comments here's what I've gathered. Minus 1, get drunk. Minus 2, be lucky enough to have someone approach you. Minus 3, online dating. Minus 4, crippling depression. I am not an introvert but I have set up many introverts over time. I'm an introvert and so is my husband and we met at school where we both studied. It took us 3 years to finally work to the nerves to start dating. My boyfriend is an introvert. He had a crush on me for like 2 years, I didn't know it, until he got hammered at a party and put his number in my phone and told me to call him sometime. About a month later I did. We've been together for almost 6 years now. Playing online games, Borderlands Cooperative. Started chatting on Steam afterwards. Previously through being drunk and meeting extroverts who would chase me. 
Now I'm in a pickle because I like a girl who is introverted like me. I actually have high hopes she likes me too but we're both too chicken shit and awkward to make anything happen. Nice meme. Deleted. I met her at a friend's birthday party two years before we started dating. I was a salsa instructor and she started coming out dancing with me, and then hired me for lessons. Things just went from there and we've been together almost five years now. Kindergarten through high school we knew of each other and finally talked on OkCupid in November of last year. Seven months steady with big plans in the future.